What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're testing out the Bugotti Hero on the trails here at Gaps Creek Reserve, Mount Kutha, Brisbane, Queensland. Now this is my first time properly going off-road. There's some pretty steep trails with some bumps and so on. There are some mountain bike tracks which you'll have a look at. A lot of them are damaged though, so we may stick to the fire trails for today's ride. Really quickly about the Bugotti Hero, it's an 1800 watt hour battery, nice torquey motor, uh, really nice and knobbly tire. It's got an airfield suspension, which I'm running at around the 170 pounds per square inch or PSI, uh, and it's got 80 millimeters of suspension travel. It comes standard with spiked pedals, it's got a really nice mud guard, which sort of overlaps and stops the mud and dirt from going up your back. And it's got a really nice bright headlight that also has the auto on and off feature. It has a built-in seat and the lift switch is built into the handle. So when you click it to the first click, it activates the lift switch and you can stand it down on its little feet at the back. Right, enough talking. Let's get on the protection wear and let's hit the trails. Yo! All right, gang, let's start the ride. We are using the GoPro Max today for the whole video. So hopefully the audio is okay. I don't have a wireless microphone or a, or a uh, additional recording device. But it's not really about what I'm saying, it's more about the picture, especially when it comes to this sort of riding. So as you can see around here, if you look around, this is Gaps, Gaps Fall, Falls Gap, something like that, I can't remember the name of it now. But there's loads of tracks, loads of bike tracks, but most of them are shut because of all of the, um, because of all of the, because of all the rain we've had. But we've got this one over here, it's called the Quail Trail. It's more of a fire track, but it's really steep and really bumpy. So we're gonna attempt that on the Bugotti Hero. So here we go, wish me luck. Something about this wheel I need to learn is I need to learn to trust its torque. I know it's got a high torque motor. I know I can probably ask it to do, oh, that is so steep. I know I can probably ask it to do anything up here. I mean, people ride like a push bike, so there's absolutely no reason why this shouldn't make it. But still, it's unnerving how steep this is. I might have a bit too much tire pressure up. Tell you I've got the suspension at 170 psi and this feels really nice. I'm obviously not doing any gears or massive jumps or any jumps really on purpose but it feels like a Cadillac. It's so smooth and the rebound is actually quite nice. Uh, if you compare that to other ones, other suspension wheels, this feels like a lazy boy as far as the it lands and it just cushions and rebounds you really nicely. So Pushing that tire to its limit of grip there, I think. Whoop. Alright, we've made it. 
All right, so we made it to the top of that first track, the Quail Trail. And I gotta say, there were some very, very steep parts there. One part we did have a little bit of a gutter on some loose sand. So the wheel itself has, it's just, the torque in the motor, you need to learn to trust because it just keeps on giving. When you think, oh, this is gonna be it, this is gonna be it, it just keeps on going. You lean in more and it just bites down and goes. Like, it's a very torquey wheel. And that rubber tire, that, that all-terrain tire, the off-road tire, it delivers so much grip and stability. It's, it's really, I'm, I'm puffing because it was so much work going up there, avoiding massive rocks and crevices and just pushing this thing because it's just, it just wants to go. All right, so we've just come across the road from that first track. You gotta go sort of on the side of the road for about 100 meters, but we made it to the Coracel, Coracel Trail, something like that. I think we're gonna test the downhill ability now and how it breaks and how it performs. Are there any like weird dippings or anything like that at all? So, wish me luck again, here we go. Now again, just remember, this is my first time off-roading, so please be kind in the comments. But this wheel does make it feel a lot more accessible, if that's the right term. By the way, the gear I'm wearing today, I've got my Bell 3R helmet on, got my Nobleman elbow pads, my two-axis knee pads. I'm also wearing a Bubble Bee, Bubble Bee backpack for a bit of back protection. Thought it's best to pad up on this sort of terrain. Now, if you look at this hill here, this thing just climbs. Again, I'm 101 kilos, and it's just taken me up. Like, it is a pleasure. I will say this has a few has a few rattles or a few clunks but what I've discovered it is is it has a very very tight space between the tire and the mud guard and every time I hear a clank or a clunk it's actually a stone that's getting stuck in the tread and then after a couple of meters it flicks it out and you don't hear it again then it picks up another one so if you are hearing the clunks and the clonks and the grinds it's literally just rocks getting stuck in the tread water oh man it is hot it's about 30 degrees today we'll put the fahrenheit on the screen the bigoti hero is going awesome really impressed with the tire the spike pedals are doing exactly what they should they're gripping my feet just no slide at all no slip even on the steepest going downs and even when I had a little bit of air there, which was my first time, by the way, so I'm pretty happy about that. So we're gonna take a quick five minute break, have some water, then we're gonna keep going, and I'll give you a wrap up at the end. Also, keep an eye for snakes. There are a few around us. All right, we're back on it. Absolute, just mind blowing fun today. Um, yeah. Ooh, some steep from Rock the Rocks.
made it safe and sound with only one minor drop due to some very loose gravel. <sighs> what an awesome ride, man. I just absolutely loved that. It was such a, about 3K in total going up and then 3K in total coming down. And the thing just powered up every single hill. Very, very impressed with the torquey motor on this Fago Hero. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this footage. I really enjoyed filming this one. Everything about everything about this wheel is just nice. You know, it's really comfy suspension. The the grippy tire, the torquey motor, the 1800 watt hour battery, um, the look. It's very skinny. It's easy to grip when you're doing like little jumps and so on. Awesome wheel. All the links will be down in the description. If there's any applicable discount codes, I'll put them there as well. Look at the unicycle.